Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is your Tessic. Whoa, 7,000. All right, we got 7,000 citizens. We're becoming a big town, apparently. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got high density commercial, high density residential, office zones. That is pretty sweet. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, metro station, so that's cool. Uh, but, anyways, we have 7,000. I did not even realize. So, it gives you money when you up. Your population, when you reach population milestones, because I did not have that much. It did. It must have did, because I had like 80 or 60 or something like that. It, it must it must give you money. Anyways, actually, before we start, let's go ahead here. I'm going to pay this loan off. Uh, did I just take another one out? No, I want to pay it off. There we go. Pay it off. Okay. No debt. Cool. All right, now we can do the intro. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? YouTube, my name is Jurtastic, and welcome to another episode of City Skylines very very excited to keep this going a uh, few things if you haven't noticed uh, added this right here and finish this commercial area because last time we didn't even have enough money to finish it so now we do i guess we're all good once again shout out to db uh he hooked me up with a a mod that does auto budget the only thing i couldn't do auto is electricity because we're still having the same electricity issues as last episode i have to have it as max otherwise if it's like middle even though we have more electricity than we're using, it'll still have a blackout. So the only thing that's off is this, but the rest of it is pretty cool to see it go up and down, up and down, up and down. Now, as you can see over here, we're getting filled up. We already bought this tile right here. So we're going to use this tile. Now the question is, do we extend a bridge, a boulevard bridge from here to here and do it that way? Or do we extend the highway? Do we like demolish these two parts, have an overpass on the highway, have ramps that connect to this roundabout? It's a very, very tough question. Um, but uh, I think, you know, the cheaper route and the easier route at first is to go ahead, put a boulevard that connects all the way over yonder. Uh, we could even do a highway, but let's just do a boulevard that connects over here. Okay, nice. Here comes our first bridge. These, I'm telling you, um, streets and city skylines are expensive. So here is a bridge, and now we're officially connected to this side of town. Which is pretty gnarly because we're expanding more and more and more. Now we have offices and a whole lot of stuff. So how exciting is that? How exciting is that, man? I'm really having a lot of fun on this. Uh, I don't want to keep sounding like a broken record. I know we don't get the most views on it. But that's completely fine with me because I'm having a lot of fun doing this. And that's what it's all about. Uh, I really am enjoying it. It's a really different challenge to me than, than you know, a tropical. Because tropical, I feel like I mastered it. No matter what tropical it is, put it in front of me. Give me an island. Tell me what you want to do with that island. And bam, consider it done. With this one, is not really necessarily the case. Um, now, here's that. Now, the problem is with this roundabout. That's not really a problem, but uh, the... The whole so okay no it's not really a problem never mind not a problem at all so we got a little roundabout here I feel like roundabout are very very essential to whatever type of uh, whatever type of uh, uh, planning you plan on doing because traffic could get pretty crazy in this game so and you don't want traffic to get crazy because that affects a lot of things so we are trying and we've been doing a pretty good job and making sure traffic does not go too crazy uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this right here and start expanding out this way so isn't that cool? Look at that. We got we got our own. We got a new island or a new landmass. It's not really an island. But we, well, technically it is because it's surrounded by water. So it is an island. But we got a new area that we're building in because we're expanding and we're expanding fast. So I couldn't be happier about it. Now over here, I'm getting this real quick before we go there. It says too few services. I don't know what they mean by that. What type of services are you talking about? Are you talking about electricity, a fire department, medical department? I'm assuming maybe the fire department. Because uh, it is really not that much going on. 1400 a week? What? That's insane. We do need a fire department around here, though. That's for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm trying to do it in a place where it can cover the most. So there we go. So hopefully that... There, you got a little more services here. Well, maybe not. Maybe they need more than that. What other services do you need? Do you need parks? I don't know why this place would need parks, but... Um, Again, this this is part of the reason why this this is so fun to me, because I'm just like literally learning as I go along, and it's just really entertaining. Um, here's a park. I don't know if they. Oh wow. Okay, so this place I guess does need parks, because these are going away. Oh really? You guys need parks? And then that's it's not even a commercial area. It's an industrial area. Is there a playground here? Yeah, perfect playground. Come swing by and <laughs> imagine your kids swinging by here, and there's a big, 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 big lot of uh, pollution going on over there okay anyways let's go over here 
and let's start doing this. Uh, we got, like I said, we got, was it the medium industry or, or a residential or uh, the high density? We don't want high density just yet. I plan on having, don't worry, of course, I plan on having a downtown spot. That is for sure, but not right now. Uh, we got to wait a little bit on that. We're not going to do anything downtown-ish anytime soon. Um, we got to establish, and maybe this episode we can take a look at that. We do got to start establishing a... A, uh, a metro transit or public transportation methods on this uh, on this in this city or this ville or this town here we go that's pretty nice right there so let's go ahead and get uh, get some pipes over yonder gotta get some piping going again everything costs a lot of money in this game maybe I shouldn't have paid the loan that quick that was maybe a little too premature on my on my behalf but it's all good and let's go this way all right, there we go. It's ready for it's ready for uh, residential, but the only thing obviously we still need is is uh, electricity, which we'll go ahead and put in just a second. These houses are gonna be too close to the river. I know this game can get flooding and all this stuff. So again, that's another thing I'll be very very interested to see how that goes. Um, high density commercial. Well, we're not gonna do that just yet because we're not really. I don't know. We're not really being asked to do it either way. So I'm not gonna do high density commercial just yet i know we're probably going to be need needed sooner or later but we're not doing it this moment but what i will do is go ahead and give them um regular commercial is this regular i want to make sure yep low density commercial i'll give them a few shops over here since they did request or it is in demand right now so there's that and let's go ahead and extend this out this way so there we go we got a boulevard we got all that cool stuff that is very very awesome very very awesome we're gonna start moving in here uh, we've got to even get good more and more and more and more of a population. So can't really complain with that. Now, if there is a bus route that I want, I want to establish a bus route from here that goes to the residential area and possibly from here. I mean, sorry, industrial area that goes to the industrial area and from there as well. So uh, let's go ahead and just make sure these, these folks are connected with, with electricity first. There we are. Should be good now. Awesome. And let's go ahead and see the underground power lines haven't really been working the best for me but we're about to see if they are sometimes they work sometimes they don't i don't know if i'm doing something wrong necessarily or what the deal is but nevertheless i can't wait to see this being used it's gonna awesome it's gonna be awesome it's i mean like think of like we are expanding more and more and more uh that's that's quite amazing that is quite amazing holy cow look how fast that police car is going that police car was... Oh, you guys missed it. That police car was dip in. Oh, my God. Look how fast it's going. Oh, my God. They never used to go that fast. That's for sure. Wow. That's nuts. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Okay. I want to take a look at a few things. Okay. Because I, I do want to start... I do want to start this right now. The whole... Uh, uh, at least at least a bus route right now. So, where is this guy going? He's going to the, to the shops. Okay. Where do they live? They live... At the high residence. Wait, they live here? That's a residence? I thought that was commercial. Oh, no, they don't. So where were they coming from? Agent at the drugstore. Oh, so you got a really nice short drive. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? That's what I love about these pockets. Where it looks like one big city. Okay, here we go with the electricity again. Always this side. Always this side. I don't know. I'm. A lot of people tell me, like, it has to be something you're doing wrong with the, how you're connecting the electric lines and all of that. But, like... You guys be the judge. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing, right? So let's go ahead and connect this and see if that does anything here. Uh, no, that does not. Man. It's like, I swear, the electricity has to be way above that uh, to do that. But anyways, I'm not going to really... I mean, I'm going to worry about it, but I'm not going to make it the whole episode again. Because that's just that's just getting annoying. That's getting very, very annoying. But um, let me see if I can just... One last thing I can try. I, it's going to look ugly, but I just I'm just trying to troubleshoot here. Right, that's that's all I'm trying to do is I, I'm trying to troubleshoot this and see if maybe it just needs uh, something that's closer to the power lines or something. Okay, here's that, and we're gonna go like this. Okay, like I said, ugly. We're gonna take it out, but I'm troubleshooting. If that's the case, I knew it wasn't the case. I don't think that was the case. Uh, I think there's something else taking place here uh, or going on that I'm not aware of. Obviously, it's not the it's not the it's not the oh, we got an oil power plant now so that's how much is it 120 megawatts and this one produces 40 megawatts uh we're obviously gonna go for the cheaper route right now once again unfortunately we're gonna go for this one I, i'm not sure what the deal is with the electricity on this thing but 
Let's see if this does anything now. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. So it is. See, see what I'm saying? It, I feel like my electricity readings are off or wrong because, like, watch. I'm gonna delete these and it's still gonna work just fine. Um, because it's, I don't think it's a connection. I, I just put the connection just to be on the safe side, but I don't think it is the connections. I think it's something else taking place in the background here. Well, my electricity readings are not exactly completely correct. Uh, that's what's happening with that. Okay. Now I'm thinking. Like I mentioned, I'm thinking of starting the bus depot. Um, just a simple one bus depot. Let me go ahead and take this out of here, actually. I don't know how that's... That's definitely going to create some kind of electric problem. So we're going to go ahead and try the, the underground power lines here. And see if that does anything. Nope, it's not doing anything. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. So that's not doing anything. Alright, no problem. We'll just go ahead and do this. I don't know, is, do the underground invisible power lines not work? Either way. Let's go ahead and start our first bus depot. Uh, that's These are these are like the projects that I get very excited to do because they're new, they're spunky. Um, let's see, is there like a single, I just want a single road, like a one way road. What is this? One way, one lane, one way. Okay. I'm just trying to do like a one lane, one way like this. Go like this. And go like this. This is going to be kind of our first central uh, bus location here. Let me just go ahead and make sure there's nothing uh, over here that's going to... Okay, so there is no... Nope, there is no power uh, or red lights there. Okay, now let's go. Here we go. Wow, it's like reading my mind. Um, what is this, Metro? Yeah, we're definitely... I'm definitely not going Metro just yet. Um, that's something we're not doing. I could have just... I could have just used, I guess, the bus, the bus thing. I do have the bus DLC. Um, or the Metro Transit DLC, whatever it's called. So hopefully that that would work. But there, there's our bus depot. So we got we got the bus depot here. Now I forgot because I'm used to tropical. I don't know if the bus depot you can have more than one line or not. Uh, so that I gotta I gotta I gotta figure that out. If we can have more than one line or it's just one line. All right, here it is. Finally got it, man. That was that was very interesting. I did not know how to start a bus ride apparently. So, okay, let's go ahead and get it started. I'm going to put one... We're going to start the bus route right here. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to connect this area to the industrial area. I don't know how... I don't know how crazy we want to make this, per se, but we're trying to make it as crazy or uh, as efficient as possible. Almost like every block. Almost like every block. And let's go down... I want to have a bus route in the middle of nowhere, so we're going to go through the residential area here. And then we're going to come up here, put, put one here, and we're going to go put one here. Uh, the problem is it doesn't cover all the folks that we want them to cover. That's going to be a long bus route, but then we're going to we're gonna come this way, add one here, add one here, and oh boy, I'm trying to come over here. Is it going to recognize? How is it going to go that way? How is it going to go that way? I'm trying to make it come to the residential area or the industrial area. Okay, I guess it does recognize it. Okay. Cool. We'll add this one here. Add one here. Again, I don't know how good or not good this is going to be. We're going to come over here. Add one here. And complete the line. Oh, yay! We got our first bus route. <laughs> That's so exciting. That is so exciting, but this goes this way. Why is it looping back the other way? You know what I mean? Like, why is it not looping back the other way? Should be one coming this way and this way. I, I gotta, I gotta check this out. I don't know, but uh, we do have a bus line now at least. So, bus line one is gonna be uh, rest zone two to industrial. So you got twelve stops. I think I feel like it should be coming around maybe I'm doing something wrong but it does have 12 stops and then we'll see how good this bus route is well we'll come back to it in just a second all right now we're looking at red commercial um, now my question is is it really does it tell you what medium demand for commercial zone okay commercial zone so we got commercial zones I was just wondering if it tells you what kind of commercial zone it's looking for but I guess not so there goes the buses Dan that's a lot of buses coming out at the same time I wonder if we have the a blackout again. Who's who's who has a blackout? Where are you at? 
No, you're good. There's no blackout. You're good. You got buses, though. Okay, so we'll come back to the bus stop in just a second. See how Will is doing. Oh, man. Yeah, it looks like it's about to do good because look at all these folks. Look at all these folks. They're waiting for the bus. I just don't like the fact that there's so many buses in a row. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. I think, if I remember correctly, when last time I played this game, you can dictate how many vehicles it has. Um, or maybe not. Can you? Uh, can you? Oh, look at that. It even tells you how many people are waiting. Oh, that's awesome. Um, number of vehicles. There it is. Let's go ahead and just dump it down to eight because I feel like there's way too many vehicles there. So, oh, here's a bus. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. How many people are on it? Passengers, 30 of 30. Oh, yeah, so... So we do need multiple buses, probably. If that's the case. I wonder if he's gonna stop at the other bus stop? Let me see. I wanna... I, I'm curious to see this. I am curious to see this. Uh, is he gonna stop? Oh, probably gonna... I wonder if people are gonna get down. No, it doesn't look like anybody. Oh, some people got off. Okay. So that's really cool. Uh, I don't know if it makes us money or not. Let me see. Does it make us money? It's supposed to make... Okay, there it is. So it will eventually make us some money. Uh, but... So... It, no, these are expenses. These are not how much we're making. Where's revenue? Income. Here's income. We're making about 130... 160. So we'll make us some money eventually. But right now, it's not making us money. Okay. So we have a bus route, at least. Well, at least we have a bus route. We can even connect this area to the residential area as well. Okay, where we are on a roll today. So let's keep it going with expanding... Let's go ahead and add a few things here. And these are just going to be all commercial areas right here. So it seems to be a lot of demand for commercial. Uh, I'm not sure if there's demand for offices. I will go ahead and put a, just a few offices right here. Not too much. Uh, we'll see how well that does. And we'll go ahead and put more commercial here. And I'll leave that area for offices in case we need to expand offices. I don't know. It doesn't really tell you what it's looking for. If it's looking for offices or it's looking for... Um, or if it's looking for uh, just regular commercial, uh, at least I don't think it does yet. So, But you guys got some commercial that's getting built. Why would you build all the way at the end there? I don't know. That's beyond me. But nevertheless, it's building there. So that's pretty cool. What I do remember is there were buses in the workshop when I used to play this that can't have more than 30 people. Because, I mean, it's a big bus. The buses carry more than 30 people. So that's that's crazy that there are buses uh, there and i might just turn the chirp off i know there's a plug-in for that or a mod for that but i know there are modded buses that could carry way more like mercedes buses or something like that than this um anyways that kind of tells me let's go back over here and uh add more vehicles then because this looks like buses are are definitely popular in this city so let's go ahead and add six more buses and it should be coming out from the bus depot here pretty soon it's got to be like the first the first one right there. Isn't that awesome? We can beautify it a little bit later on as well. What do, what do they want? They want... Uh, oh, we have a college, university now. Sweet. So eligible about 1,700. And how many people do we have going? None at all. Um, where should we put this though? That's a very good question, right? We can put it here. I feel like that undermines these folks here. Okay. How about right here? I feel like, I feel like, is this a college or university? A university needs to be like in a nice place. Not a nice place, but it, we're obviously going to need more than one. But I feel like this area doesn't really cover a whole lot of the citizens that I want. Um, how about like, just, can we just do it here and see how well that does? Oh, that was so expensive. I need to, I need to make sure I, I need to make sure I, I look at how much things are costing before building them up. <laughs> I do that all the time and then, and then I end up getting bit buy it okay got got electricity there okay so that that was really really expensive um it's unfortunate but it's kind of needed i guess because there are apparently a lot of people in here that need college education but don't really have uh university students in the city it's not what you guys said you guys said there was about 1700 that are, are eligible for university study don't tell me 26 because i didn't build all of that for nothing Okay, going back to the buses, man. There's all of these buses again. I, it, something we're going to have to wait for next episode because I'm going to obviously add it in. But look at this. This is very cool, by the way. I don't remember having this. I don't know if this is part of DLC that I bought. But um, it tells you exactly where the buses are at as far as the route and how much they're filled up. And all of them are filled up except one bus. But besides besides that, um, I, I wonder if like we needed to edit the line and make sure like the line... You know, like goes back the other way or something? No, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? 
no, that would not make any sense. So, but I mean, it's it's pretty. We need we need bigger buses. That's for sure. We need bigger buses with more capacity than thirty. I mean, this bus looks like it could should hold at least eighty, not thirty. Uh, look look how crazy it is. Let's follow this real quick. See where it goes. Let's get out of this. I want to see where. Uh, I want to see like where the how many people are getting off and whatnot in the industrial area. Cause, so not really that many people in the industrial area getting off. Could also use um, the whole park and stuff. Oh, there's more people that got off there. Okay. Not too many people got off here. Not not none at all actually. Yeah, so we're gonna need we're gonna need to do that. That's pretty cool though. That's pretty cool that we got that going. And now more residential demand, no problem. My pleasure. So let's go ahead and add this residential demand and uh, we'll keep it going. Uh oh no, I don't want that. Man, as you guys can see, man, I'm 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 learning as we go along and it's it's just very, very exciting. It's so exciting to me to do this. Uh, I really, I know I keep saying it over and over again, but I'm very, I'm very happy I decided to do this series. And I wish I would have done it sooner, but hey, better late than never, right? Um, I'm very glad that this is on my channel now. And thank you to everybody who's watching and, and, and giving me a shot by watching this. Because I know there's probably people that are way better at doing cities, skylines than, than I am. Uh, but you guys are watching me and, and that's, that's very humbling and I'm very, very grateful for it. So let's go ahead and do that. And, um kind of this is kind of a big residential area i usually don't do them this big but this one this one is big because we do have a lot of demand and and that was kind of the whole point of doing this okay i'm not gonna do that because i don't like i don't i don't like houses in the main road i i don't like that um so here we are and there's a few boxes here okay there we are fill it up fill it up real good and let's go ahead and get the pipes going go this way go this way awesome that's awesome all right cool should be good in residential as well so we have the buses we got a university let's check at that see how much 144 students man i feel like i got i juked myself in that i feel like i got bamboozled on that but it's all self-inflicted but besides the point uh, we are really expanding in this city and it's going very very nice we're at, we're a big town now as you can see 8500 about to hit the 10,000 population but you know it'd be awesome if you guys help me hit 10,000 subs which I'm at 9,200 about 200 is recording this episode we're only 800 away so if you're new I would really highly appreciate that subscribe button from you it would really mean the world to me and it would really help me achieve my YouTube goal of hitting 10,000 uh, 10,000 subs so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jurtastic. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I definitely enjoyed playing it for you. I will see you guys on the next one. And I am out. See you guys.